there are eight officially recognized planets. But when a word planet is said, what usually comes to mind is a spherical, round object that goes around a star. If that's what we use as a definition of a planet, then there are likely over 200 to 10,000 planets going around our sun right now. Now we do have dwarf planets such as Pluto, Eris, Ceres and other and the reason why they are not considered as planets is because they have not cleared their orbits and their orbit is inclined. Here we can see how Pluto's orbit really sticks out of the rest 8 planets. So if we consider Pluto a planet we would need to include 200 other objects. But still the name dwarf planet implies that it is a planet. So how many in total are there all? Well, it is really surprising when we see how many of spherical objects going around the sun are there, or dwarf planets. And there are 300 possible dwarf planets that were found and observed with a diameter of over 300 kilometers, which is enough to make them spherical. Of those 300, 200 of them are most likely dwarf planets. This is a list of 300 possible dwarf planets. And this list is gigantic. It is also important to note that these are only which we know of in the Kuiper Belt. And beyond that region of that belt, there are possibly more than 10,000 dwarf planets. There might be even some dwarf planets that came from the outer solar system. This all means that we have a lot left to explore just in our system. There could be incredible findings if we dedicated ourselves on sending probes on these unknown dwarf planets. But the exploration of these objects would also take an incredible amount of time. The Kuiper Belt, region where most of these dwarf planets were found, is at about 49 astronomical units away from Earth, which is at over 7 billion kilometers away. That is an insane distance. If we were to go to the region where those planets are, we would need at least 16 and a half years to reach that region, going at 50,000 kilometers per hour, which is 18 times faster than a shot bullet. But it is not impossible to reach that region. In fact, New Horizons, a probe which took pictures of Pluto, took 9 years to reach Pluto, going at 58,000 kilometers per hour. And Pluto could be considered to be just a bit on the inner edge of the Kuiper Belt. So then what do we even know of these dwarf planets that are in that region of the solar system? The objects there are obviously completely frozen, as evident through the pictures of Pluto and its moon Charon. They both have a frozen icy surface and they are surprisingly colorful and complex. Pluto also has a nitrogen atmosphere which was a big surprise. That atmosphere is there because on Pluto it is so cold that air molecules are much less active and cannot escape from Pluto's gravity. Pluto might even have a whole water ocean underneath the surface, caused by tidal heating of Charon. But these objects are also not very dense and have very weak gravities. So through this acquired data, here is what we know of the 200 found dwarf planets. Their surfaces are very cold, icy and a bit rocky, but also they could be very colorful and complex. The average temperature of these objects is at around minus 240 Celsius. Some of the larger dwarf planets could even potentially hold atmospheres and have oceans of liquid water underneath the surface if there is some tidal heating of their moons, meaning some forms of life may even be possible on these objects. Standing on these dwarf planets, you would feel extremely light as they all have very weak gravities. It would also be a lot darker than the usual, meaning the sun would seem very faint from such distances. And while looking at the sun, you would be looking at at least 6 hours into the past, as that is the time that is needed for light, fastest speed in the universe, to reach these distant worlds. So, all around, there are technically not over 10,000 official planets, but there likely are over 10,000 dwarf planets in the whole solar system. This means that a lot of exciting findings are awaiting us and we have a lot left to explore. 
and all of that is just right in our home system, solar system.